I'm working on a new piece today. This is another commission. It's for a collector of mine who lives in Scottsdale, Arizona. And we're doing a terrace with the view of the mountains from the mountains that they see from their home. I'm going to be washing in a chili ristra right here on the wall. I have drawn in the rest of my composition to this point with a oil wash of my mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue plus one part alizarin crimson. And I mix liquid into that to make a nice oil wash. And that's what I draw in my basic composition. This is my road map to follow as I begin painting later. Right now I'm going to be washing in a chili ristra here and I'm using a mixture of alizarin crimson plus liquid and also I have a mixture of magenta plus liquid. The magenta, this is, it's a little bit darker. And I just, this is how I get my initial wash for my chili ristra. These chili pepper strings are very common throughout the Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico. They're just really beautiful. and You can then reach out and get one of these dried hot peppers and add it into your cooking and have a spicy meal. My, Jackson, my friends, always called us bland and blanders, so the spicy stuff, we just enjoyed the chili ristras. We didn't use them in our cooking. So. And below this is going to be a fire stick little cactus that is going to be beneath the ristra. So I'm not going to make the ristra real long. I'm going to wash in the top part of that little fire stick cactus with a little bit of that same alizarin crimson. Just to get the canvas colored, I'll come back and, and paint it. But this gets my canvas, gives me initial covering on the canvas. So then when I come back and paint the opaque color, I have that covered over a little bit. Don't get those little white dots in there. Now the bottom of these fire stick canvases is green. But up at the top, where they're in, when they're in the direct sunlight, they really get fiery. They're just beautiful. And this will have a lot more detail than this, but I go ahead and we'll let it kind of go up there and meet up the, the restras. These are just really pretty. They get almost a bright orange. I add this in here, and again, this is a mixture. This here is a mixture of alizarin crimson plus my liquid. Now the bottom of this again will be green. Moving back to our ristra, what I do now is I clean out my brush real well, my thinner, and I use Turpinoid odorless paint thinner because the studio, my easel is set up in in the house and so I don't want that turpentine smell in the house. So I use the turpenoid odorless and it does it, it's fine. People come in don't even realize if they didn't see the easel in the living room they wouldn't know that I was in here painting. Now with the clean brush I can come out and lift out the shapes of the, the peppers and I keep cleaning my brush to be able to do this. I'm using a bright brush. That's a brush with a flat square tip on it. And I can just pull that color out. And I'll come back and paint this with opaque oils. But this gives me just the general shapes of my, my peppers in there. I keep wiping that out. Now I'm going to come back with a little smaller brush and just add the darks in here with my magenta plus liquid wash. Just, just bring a few more darks into here. 
This just gives me my general shapes so that when I come back and paint it with the opaque oils, I'll have kind of a plan to follow. And I'm not following my reference material exactly. I just kind of let the brush shape these and then I know the general shapes of the, the peppers, they kind of wiggle and have interesting shapes. These, the light's going to be coming in from the right. So these get a little more light. And they'll have a little more light on them. But that's our basic chili ristra. I will wash the rest. I will draw the rest of my landscape up in there with my oil wash. And So that's, that's how I do the ristra. I'll go ahead and do a little bit more on this roof up here. The, um, these, this is going to be a, a tile roof, the rounded, like Tuscan tile roof, the Italian tiles. And again, I can use that square brush and just twist it and make, make those round top tiles. See how I just twist it up there to make those the shapes of those tiles. And then Carolina Jasmine is going to be cascading over this, this tile roof. The perspective is a little odd. I have to have the camera at an angle so I can paint. You can see along this top edge that the, the, I'm at a little bit of an angle with the camera. But then I just, again, wash in my shapes of my, I'm, I'm not really being distinct, I just kind of want to give the feeling so I know where this is going to be. And then we'll have some trunk coming down here to the, it'll be growing out of this pot. And then I'll have African daisies in this pot and a little bit of uh, some sweet potato vine spilling out. This is that. This will be yellow Carolina jasmine. Then we're going to have a red door. And there we go. That's how that works. And these will spill down. Those draping vines just add a lot of nice interest in, to the paintings. I appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. You can always ask questions in the comment section. And if you will go to my blog, you can see the rest of the step-by-step -step process of this painting. The link for the blog is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. You have a wonderful day and just give somebody a hug today. You know, hugs are just wonderful. And you just never know how, how much that means to somebody. Somebody you love, a friend, just let them know how much you care for them. Give them a big hug. So you have a great day and thank you again.